Hi, so at Northampton College we've got a great partnership with WD40 and we use a lot of their products within our workshops and I'm just going to show you how to use a couple of them today. So I've got these shears that need cleaning up. Um, they're seized together, I can't open them and as you can see they're quite dirty and rusted up so I'm using two products today to clean these up. One product is the fast release penetrant so that will help release them and the other product is WD40 original and that will just clean it up. As you notice on these bottles, they've both got two functions. That one, and this is normal, the normal function. And I'll show you how to use both of these to effectively clean this tool up. So, first of all, I'm going to use the fast release penetrant, and I'm going to use it on the void spray. So that's this one here. Um, directions, I'll shake the can up first, and I'm just going to soak the air, but just to hopefully release it. I'll do that on both sides. So I'll allow that to soak in, and, but in the meantime I'm going to use the narrow spray. So I'm going to use the narrow spray and just to get really in the small nooks and crannies. So what I'll do is I'll leave that a while, let it, so let it soak in and then I'll give it a clean up and then hopefully it'll start to ease up. So I've let that soak in now, just going to wipe off any excess with a bit of kitchen roll and already it's opening up. If you find that you need a bit more spray, you might need to spray it all again, let it soak in, then repeat the process. Uh, with this one, after that first time, it's already opening up. So now we've released it, we're going to look at cleaning all this rough stuff, and you'll find that helps them work better as well. So this time we're using the uh, original WD-40. Um, I'm going to use it to spray over, clean off, and then repeat till this, this really is cleaned up, and so they're working a lot more effectively. This is a sharp piece of equipment, so we do need to be careful of the sharp blades, as you would with many other um, tools in industry. So first of all, I'm just going to spray it over using the wide spray on both sides. I'm going to use a bit of kitchen roll to start cleaning this off. As you can see, this is quite quite embedded on, but I've only been wiping that for a short amount of time, and you can see the, two, the difference in the two. If you're finding it quite difficult to take the um, excess off, you can sp I'd spray again and use some very fine uh, sandpaper just to clean it off. And then wiping off with some kitchen roll again. And as you can see, you can see the difference straight away, and that's really not a lot of work. It's thanks to the WD-40 um, spray. It really cleans it off, and it also protects it. So it protects it getting uh, rusty again. So I'm going to carry on cleaning this up again, washing the sharp edges. I'm going to turn it over on both sides. Again, if you need to, and need to get in finer areas, you can use the, uh, the narrow spray. But I'm going to continue with the wide spray, repeating with sandpaper and kitchen roll. So I've cleaned these up now. Working much better than they did before, they look clean and more importantly they're protected now. So it's going to protect them in the future against future rust. Um, again, we use these two products, so the fast release penetrant and then the original WD-40. Obviously this is a gardening tool, we can use it on any hand tool um, in any area of construction. Okay, that's it, thank you very much.